What's up my little pineapples? Welcome back to my channel. I am Lily Star, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to contour your face. Just right in time for the Valentine's season so you can take your cute pictures with your book so that every angle looks super cheesel. Okay? okay. So that every angle looks perfect. Ay, tengo este ojo llorosina también. Ok, so primero empiezan por ponerse un, una crema o moisturizer el de su preferencia. A mí en lo personal cuando voy a salir toda la noche, I like to use two different primers. Y primero me pongo el Hangover de Too Faced because it's very creamy, it's almost as a moisturizer, but it's still a primer. So I'm just going to do one little squeeze. Y me lo voy a poner alrededor de toda la cara. Like, especialmente en las partes de, de afuera. No mucho en la parte T de la cara. Porque allí voy a utilizar otro primer. Para que se vea más seco el, el maquillaje. Porque usualmente my face gets very greasy. And I don't like it. Especially in pictures. So you can either use, you know, something like this. It's a tart, um, wireless, mattifying primer. Or use your Angel by NYX. It's a lot more affordable, but do the same job. They both do the exact same job. So I'll use the Angel, just so you guys can see. And then you use just a little bit. And you're just going to use this on your T-zone. Just so you can minimize your pore, but still get the prime that you need. Alright, so then I like to use a dark circle eraser. Um, este es de Maybelline y me borra literalmente todos los círculos y antes de ponerme cualquier fundación o algo me gusta ponerme so I like to do that and then with my ring finger I'm gonna dab it <laughs> stay right here then because you're quite distracted and then I like to go over on the top Aquí un poquito porque también lo utilizamos como primer de las sombras. Y traten de ser bien, bien, you know, cuidadosos con esta área porque es muy delicada. Muy, muy delicada. And then you kind of like drag it a little bit downwards, así, como hacia abajo. Pero no mucho. Para que se, se difumine con la piel, con la, el color de la piel de ustedes. Y con el otro dedo van a hacer lo mismo. If you get red, this is your time to do this right here. <laughs> That's what they get under for me now. If you guys have like any like pimples or anything, you know, any marks on your face, you're gonna use a color corrector, and this one is by NYX HD Studio Photogenic. And I don't, but I have like one right here, and I have one here, but I'll just show you. I have to show you so you guys know what I'm talking about. So you guys will go a little bit here and a little bit right here. And then this is all before you put on your foundation. The same finger, you're gonna just like dab it, you're gonna dab it. Don't rub it, just dab it so you don't take any product away. Like that. And now we're going to the foundation. And today, make sure you shake it. Vamos a utilizar la NARS. Again, this is the color Barcelona, any color Barcelona. So lo que yo hago es que cojo mi brocha, que I love so much, and then I'm going to use a color fix by MAC, and this is the flavor, is it like a flavor? Rose. Y van a mojar un poquito la brocha. Y lo que yo hago es que con un solo palm en un lado, me sirve para un lado de la cara. So empiezo a ponerlo sobre todo el lado. Yo hago primero la mitad y después la otra mitad. Así. Y cuando mojan la brocha lo que están haciendo es que um, eso ayuda para que el producto no se lo absorba la brocha sino que se quede como en, las, en la surface y se lo puedan aplicar mejor, tengan más, más producto. Porque cuando no le ponen eso, lo que pasa es que la brocha se absorbe toda la fundación en el mantar. Because we need to get as much as we can because those foundations are not cheap. Ok. Ok. Make 
make sure that everything is nice and blend. Dead. <laughs> ya cuando acaban de ponerse la fundación, vamos a ponernos un concealer que sea nomás ahora un shade más claro del color de la, del tono de la piel de nosotros. So, el que yo utilicé primero me cubre los círculos. Este es especialmente para cubrir los círculos en ese H Rewinder. So, what it does is makes me look younger. But this I like to use like at least three shades lighter. Now, for the concealer that is going to be seen by everybody, I like to use a shade lighter. And then I'm going to use this one that is the Joer. Joel. Joel is a French name. I can't pronounce it. But it's in the color ginger. So, este color siento aquí me lo voy a poner. Okay. Oh no, this is not it. No. It's this one. So I have two and I confuse them, but it's fine. So I'm gonna use the color Macaroon by Joa. Joa. Ooh. So first I put the wrong color, but it's okay. So this is a shade lighter than my skin tone. And then for the concealer, I like to use this brush that is actually a tapered highlighter brush and it's a luxe 522 but i love how it does my concealer and then again i put a little bit on top y se les falta otro poquito traten de poner lo que que enfocarse un poquito más aquí es donde la mayoría de la gente tiene como las Eye bags tan oscuras. Así. 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 Before you proceed to the other eye, I like to just bake it right away because it creases. The concealer tends to crease very fast. So, utilizando mi Laura Mercy Herb. Translucent powder y un beauty blender mojada. Acuérdense mojarlo because a lot of people don't wet it and then they are like it doesn't do the job. Yeah, because you need to wet the beauty blender. Te la van a poner aquí así. Y utilizando la punta se van a poner justo abajito de la cara del donde se acaban de poner el concealer. Así. So ahora voy a hacer el otro ojo mientras este se Va cocinando, cause you gotta let it bake, bake. Get out of the door. Traten de como presionar la brocha hacia abajo para que se absorba bien en la piel. Y no se vea como rayada, porque muchas veces si la hacen así se van a ver como rayas. And we don't want any strips. We want it to look like it's your skin. And I don't know why this eye is so irritated. If I cry, I'm not really crying. It's just my eyes irritated. Ahora vamos a hacer el contour. Y para eso voy a utilizar mi paleta de Morphe. I'm going to start with the lightest. The, well, the second to lightest. And then I'm going to finish off with the dark. Second darkest. Third darkest. One, two, yeah. Because it's like this. But if you were lighter, you start with this one and then use this one. You always want to use two different colors to contour. A light and a dark. Just so you look nicely blend with your skin. You don't want to use just one shade because then it just looks like a straight line. And then if you were darker, you would do this one and then this one. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm going to use my little old brush, a flat little old brush. You could find this at any of your old makeup sets because I don't know where they will sell this. If I find something, I'll link it down below. Okay. So I'll we'll use the color donut. I'm going to start with the color donut. You guys can use this angle brush that is made for contour. You could also use an actual contour brush. But I like the entire liney looking one because it's just easier for me. Make sure to go all the way back. So after you do the donut, which is the lighter shade, now we're going to do the debutante, which is the second darkest. And now you're just going to go over it. Very light. Don't go too, don't press the brush too harsh. And you're also going to do it down here. Okay. 
with the same, you're not adding more product to the brush. And then now you're adding a little more with the other side. This side is so weird to do. But it's almost fantastic. And now you're gonna take your clean brush and just fluff it out, buff it out. Solo tienen que difuminar bien, so no se vea como muy como una raya ahí. I'm going to use a taper, smaller brush, and using the lighter shade, you're going to contour your nose. Just try to do like a little straight line. Every nose is different, so this is how I contour my nose, but this is pretty much the basics to contouring your nose. Let's do it like this. I don't want to make my nose appear smaller but if you were you put a little bit of concealer in the middle I'll show you you put a little bit of your concealer down the middle like this and then buff it up very lightly I usually don't like to contour my nose like that because then it looks too tiny but if you if that's the look you're going for and then you go with your darker one alrededor así y se va a ver la nariz mucho más pequeñita so ya que mi concealer is it's been baking for a uh -huh, we're just gonna dust this out I'm gonna quitar todo esto aquí because ya ahora Esto no lo dejan like mientras se hace el contour, ya después se lo quitan, no pueden salir con la cara y con ese blanco porque that is going to look great. So con una brocha limpia, yo tengo dos brochas, con la que me hago el concealer y la misma para quitarme el, el polvo. Así. Tada. Okay. So ahora lo que a mí me gusta hacer después de que me hago esto es coger un bronceador y voy a utilizar I don't think this palette has one, but no. But I'm going to use the MAC, which is called Global Glow. I'm going to take a brush very thin. And with this, I'm going to neutralize all my face. So, first I'm going to accent more color here where I did the contour. And here. Y ahora sin ponerle más producto a la brocha, voy a hacer por toda la cara para que se vea como un color parejo. No muy parejo, solo como para que se vea que tengo un poquito de glow por todo lado. Ya después van a coger una brocha, también fluffy enough, lo suficientemente fluffy. Y voy a utilizar el blush color Laura Geller, que se llama Peach Delight. This is a baked blush, so lo que pasa es que se va a ver como... Um, bien mineralizado so. si a ustedes no les gusta que la cara se le vea como muy maquillada baked products are the best se le ve como si fuera parte de su piel se ve muy lindo y solo poniendo así como presiones bien suaves en la cara y listo también me pongo un poquito aquí porque queremos siempre que la cara se vea muy bien Estoy utilizando mi Beauty Blender again y el translúcido de Laura Mercier. Voy a coger un poquito de producto y me voy a hacer justo aquí como una raya así. Debajo de donde me hice el contour. Y lo que va a hacer esto es que nos va a hacer la cara más delgada. And then you're gonna let that bake for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I will be right back. So, now that we did our brows, I'm gonna use the same brush I used to, you know, clean my under eyes. Y vamos a limpiar aquí la cara. Vamos a barrerla muy suavecito. Y lo que esto va a hacer es que se va a ver la cara un poquito más delgada, mejor contorno y así. Van a hacerlo como en dos rayas así. Y ta. Ahora. Y ya de, antes de terminar vamos a utilizar el Fenty, which is Trophy Wife Highlighter. 
by my girl Rihanna's Fenty Cosmetics. And this is my favorite highlighter. I have a couple more, but this is my favorite because you can see this highlighter up from space. And you're just gonna go aquí arribita, arribita de los pómulos. Just like that. Con una brocha que sea estilo fan, like un abanico. Y un poquito en la nariz, en la puntica. La puntica así como que utilicen el dedito, because es más preciso. Y se lo suena así como bien, 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 bien suavecito. All right, so once you guys are done doing your makeup, I added the lashes because, you know, I'm a dramatic person like that and they just make your face look so nice. So, se pega las pestañas and the look is completely done. Ya después, I'm gonna go again with my mist from my Fix Mist Prime by MAC. Um, y me lo voy a poner por toda la cara para que el maquillaje me dure toda la noche. Se lo ponen por toda la cara, espera que se le seque y listo. El look está terminado. All right, my little pineapple. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit that little subscribe button and the little bell notification since you're there already. I'll see you guys in my next video.